Hey guys, it's me, Dina, from Cook with Dina. Join me as we make traditional Jordanian mensef today. We're going to start with using the items that I got from the Nut House USA. This is traditional jamid, which is dried yogurt. And it's the main uh, ingredient for the national dish of Jordan, jamid. And then we've got our mensef spices, also from the Nut House. And we'll be using the ghee. This ghee is just amazing. I'm obsessed with it. Here's the rest of our ingredients. We've got shrak bread. We've got calrose or Egyptian rice. We have lamb with bone. Onions. Again, the mensaf spice. The ghee. Bay leaves. Cardamom pods and a cinnamon stick. You've got black peppercorns and allspice. This is all you need for an amazing, amazing mensaf dish. Don't forget the pine nuts and the garnish, the parsley. So stay tuned with me. Let's start with the lamb. Um, for the lamb, we start with boiling it in some water for about 10 minutes. We want all of that foam to come to surface. That's all the impurities and the unnecessary gamey flavor that we do not want in our mensaf. So let's boil it for 10 minutes and then we're gonna dump that water out, rinse each piece of lamb and start out with a fresh pot that I'll wash again. All that foam, we don't want it. So I'm gonna go wash that pot, rinse each piece of meat, look at how nice and clean that looks. And now we're ready to go to step two of making our mensaf. Now in my pot that's clean, I put some ghee and I've got it on medium high heat because I want to melt the ghee. And now I'm gonna add in the lamb that I rinsed. So you want it to sizzle. This is very key to getting this amazing, amazing broth for your mensaf. I'm gonna add in all the meat and I'm just gonna toss it around a little in the ghee. Once I hear it like sizzling, which that's what you want to hear, of course, um, I add in all the spices that I put on the side, which is the mensaf spice, my cardamom pods and my cinnamon stick, the black peppercorns. I have all the recipe written out. It'll be in the description box, so don't worry. So stay tuned for the recipe in the description box. Now we are adding in the allspice berries, which is optional, but I like to throw it in with my red meat. The bay leaves, I'm making a lot, so I need a lot. Um, my onion. And now I'm gonna add in 12 cups of water and now I'm gonna lower the heat because I, first of all, I don't want the water to evaporate. I want it low and slow for one hour now. So I'm gonna put it on medium low for an hour. I'll be back, see, this is about 40 minutes later. Just wanted to show you all the update of what it looks like. Let's get our jamid ready. So jamid is rock hard, like solid, because it's been dried out in the sun and you need to basically break it down. However you decide to take it down, I'll show you three different ways. You need to soak it. Soak it in some water overnight or at least for four hours. Um, my preferred method is to use a box grater. I just grate it. It takes a little arm muscle, but look at how it breaks it down very quickly. That way when I soak it, it's easier to use. And I don't care to take out my blender later, which I'll explain which way you would need the blender for. You can also take a knife and just, you know, shave off the sides as I'm doing right now. See how dry it is? It's insanely hard because it's very uh, solidified yogurt, basically. Like it's been dried to where it's hard like a rock. And then you can also put it in a bag and break it up. Like take your anger out. Use a hammer. I used a wrench. You break it down and then whatever technique you decided to use, you need to soak it in water overnight. But if it's broken like this, in this technique, 
you need to also get out a blender and blend it the next day just to make it smooth because it's not fine like it is um, whenever you use a uh, grater or a knife. See, it's a little chunky. So either way, you need to soak it overnight or for at least four hours. So that's our Jameed. I winded up using the box grater for most of it. Um, and now I'm going to soak it. So, um, of course, this part of my recording I did the day before. I just wanted to put it in here so I don't confuse y'all as to um, starting with the meat and all that kind of stuff. Um, sorry for any confusion. Anyway, that's what it looks like once you put the water on. And now we're just going to set it aside until we're ready for it. This is my lamb an hour later. Look at how beautiful that broth looks. The color on it is to die for. And the meat is still not cooked. It's actually still very tough because this is lamb with bone. But now we're ready for step two, which is basically adding in the jameed and water mixture. So now I'm just going to stir it in and keep it on the medium low heat and i'm gonna cover it for another hour or until the meat is tender the way you check if it's tender is with the fork or with your knife it should be fork tender and that's the biggest goal you want your meat to be nice and soft look at how beautiful that is an hour later now we're ready to move forward with the toppings. Let's toast up our pine nuts and some ghee. Pine nuts are very tricky. You have to keep mixing them or they will burn. You'll get some burn spots. Um, I like to always pan fry on medium high and now they're ready for me to set aside. If you keep them in the oil, they'll keep frying because um, oil stays hot, of course. And now here's my rice. I had it washed and soaked for 20 minutes. I did this step right when i saw that the meat was finished um, i went and soaked my rice so now i'm ready to start with my rice i'm going to drain the water off i'm going to bring some ghee to heat in a pot put in some turmeric and salt toss it around and then add in some water and the biggest thing with rice is to uh, make sure it comes to a rolling boil and then you cover it and forget about it for 20 minutes And that's how you make your yellow rice. Look at how easy it is. Um, when you're making mansaf, you want short grain rice, so it's not going to be too fluffy, uh, just because it soaks up the uh, mansaf better. Let's assemble our mansaf. We're almost done, guys. Start out with some shrak bread or village bread. Put a little bit of the jameed soup on it to soak it. And now we put on our rice. Yum looks so good already and now we put our meat on top of the rice and then we put on our toasted pine nuts and our parsley serve with the jameed on the side and go to town i can't wait to see you guys' remakes don't forget to follow me on instagram and don't forget to purchase all your products from the nut house usa i have a discount code um, with them cook with dina for 15 percent off and you guys this is like so delicious so hearty your family's gonna love you if you make it for them again thanks for watching this is dina from cook with dina and yeah I'm, I'm gonna be busy eating so I'll, I'll see you guys later don't forget to follow me on instagram like and subscribe